5,000 hits, baby. Look at this right here, folks. Like that. The devil yep. is here. Yeah. Check this out right here. Really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it, boss. The man. Thank you. His world heavyweight champion when I was the booker in uh, in WCW, Tony was a genius. Tony should have had a job in a major company. Uh, the houses he would draw, and he knew how to take a like a, a Jimmy Snooker and bring him in and give Tommy Dreamer as a young boy the rub, and that's what we're supposed to do at. At, at, at your tail end of the career, you're supposed to pass the torch. And and Tony just knew how to get those people right. And, I mean, it, that made Tommy... Look at the guys that came out of Tommy Dreamer, Taz. I mean, I could go down the line. Public enemy. Public enemy, yeah. yeah. And he and, and uh, Rocco Rock had been around for years. At the Cheetah Kid. Yeah. yeah, and he gave him a chance. So, Tony, I, I have the utmost admiration, and Ellen was a dear friend of mine, too. That's fantastic. We can go on forever. This could be a three-hour shoot interview, but this man is tired. Folks, he is the Boston, Massachusetts legend, icon, returning right here. The games master, the task master, the leader of the varsity club in the Dungeon of Doom, Kevin Sullivan. Thank <laughs> you.